Maybe I'm trying to get to the elbow, trying to lift it up, trying to get a good bite. I'm having trouble. And what the other guy's doing, he's going to be bumping to try to disrupt me. He's lifting his hips. So when the guy does this, it gives me a chance when his hips go up, it gives me a chance to get a, a lower back wedge. So I put my calf underneath. Uh, the way I do this is like, the, the, I have my feet kind of hurt, like my calves are already touching the butt cheeks in that control mount. I feel the hips come up. I slide one leg under the lower back, and then I put my other shin on top of my foot. So it's like my leg will be under, and then the complete the triangle is buckle here. So you'll be in just really uncomfortable position for a striking application. You could set someone up on this wedge just to strike them because it makes it really difficult to defend strikes. Uh, and it makes it really hard to hip escape. So Eric comes up a little bit. I send a leg underneath of him. He goes to put his hips back down. He tries to push on my like hips and escape. It's hard. And then also, I don't know if you can see this angle, but people need to be able to do a little bit of like a front curl when they block. And if Eric does the front curl, it's just, a, it's just a really weird predicament with this big lump under his back for him to like, I don't I just feel like it'd be a, a huge advantage if I'm striking, if I got this thing under the guy's back and he can't do the little like, hip curl body motion, have his body kind of concave. I'm kind of forcing him convex when, I, when I'm striking. And then from here, the one you would force with this wedge is a rolling arm bar. So I hook an arm, it's my right leg under the back, so my left arm's gonna hook the, the wrist, and I lift my knee up. When I do this, my thigh is bullying the tricep and the elbow, and my knee's gonna go over the shoulder. So you'll be able to see like shoulder on the other side of your knee. And then I just go both knees down, uh, I, if I'm in a match, I wait for the guy to start to get up, and then when he starts to get up, I start to fall. And then from here, I just need to get Eric's hip to fall on me. And if you see with my leg behind his head, I'm kind of like pushing at his head to coax him into this front roll. I do not release this leg until this leg gets high enough in the armpit to go over his head. And once I have his head, then I'm good to go. You go for the finish. So again on this, uh, very small mistake, very easy to make from underneath. Uh, it's literally what I do when I'm trying to generate enough like space and energy to do something. Eric's hips come up, and then you just slide right under him. And then from here, it's pull the arm, leg comes up to bully, and then let the shoulder out. Eric tries to get his arm out, should be difficult, and then I'm making my knee head over on purpose. He comes up, I'm hugging leg head on, and then I'm falling to my hip as close to his head, doing out my right hip. And as I fall, it just wheels the guy over. And from that position, I'm not letting go of this leg. It's called spider webbing a guy. When you have him like this, Eric tries to get up. It can be very difficult. It goes high in the armpit over the head. And then from there, we're going to go after that.